Hey guys, welcome to another video for the Redmi K20 Pro, also known as Rafael and Rafael In. First of all, a very, very happy Diwali to you guys from me and PhoneOps, the entire team. We wish you prosperity, happiness, and a lot of good luck in the coming year. Now, today we have something really exciting. We have Evolution X coming with the initial build based on Android 12. It just came up like literally half an hour back. I've flashed it, I've ran the benchmarks, and with you guys is what I'm going to experience the remaining features. So before we get into the details, if you like watching custom ROM stuff like this every single day, please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon because it doesn't cost you anything and it really motivates us. If you like chatting with like-minded people, you can join us on Telegram. We have more than a thousand like-minded people will submit our devices over there. You can also get help there. You can also join us on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook. We are very active there. And last but not the least, if you think the hard work is worth the effort, please click on the join button and support the channel. Now without further ado, hello awesome people. Welcome to PhoneOps. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. All right, so let's see what we have here. Official Android 12 UDFPS OSS Evolution X Android 12 initial release 4th of November 2021. A very good Diwali gift for K20 Pro users, I would say. Now you have download, change log, support group and screenshots. Now the notes have to say, always make a NAND backup and be safe. Uses OSS vendor and perf kernel. That is the perf plus kernel clean flash before reporting bugs android 11 firmware is mandatory that means you have to use that miui 12.5.1 firmware right now if you talk about the change log over here there's not much that is mentioned and it is clear that this is a very very initial build because there are a few things that i would like to discuss with you guys so let's go to the home screen first and that is where our first topic is just notice me opening the app drawer right opening the app drawer, opening the Google Discover over here, right? Now, whatever I'm going to say next is not complaint, is not feedback, is just what you guys need to know, what to expect from the first build of Evolution X. I'm pretty sure in one or two updates, these guys will make this butter smooth, but in the initial build, it's not exactly stutter or jitter, but the animations I would say are not so smooth. The Evolution X Android 11 version is butter smooth for the Redmi K20 Pro. But over here, yes, because this is the first Android 12 build, there are a few stutters or jitters, whatever you want to call it here and there. This new, you know, element of feature of the quick tiles is really, really neat. And that works great as well. Unfortunately, fortunately, the quick tiles are in dark or black color. We will talk about that a little later. So let me first take you to settings over here. Let's go to about. Let's click on the Android version. That is Android version 12. You do see it says Evolution X. And if you keep tapping on it, the moment you go to 12 p.m. or 12 a.m., you do have your Android 12 Easter eggs. And as you can see over here, Evolution X version, Snow 6.0 Raphael, 5th November security patch. The kernel is the perf kernel as mentioned and this is a enforcing build. So your security should not be a concern. We will get back to settings. First, let's talk about the face of the ROM, which is the first screen that you land on. Now, of course, this is not the wallpaper it comes with. We will talk about that. But to the left, you do have the Google feed, which is relatively smooth. It is slightly like, you know, 1% or 2% stuttery. It's not really lagging stuff, but yeah, it is there because I've played with another, you know, Android 12 ROMs on this device and other devices, and I can definitely go ahead and feel that, right? Now, you do have your typical Android look over here, like the clean Android 12 look. If you go to home settings, you have the pixel launcher, just like any other Android 12 ROM, and you do have your widgets over here, as you can see over here, and that works fine as well. At the bottom, you have wallpaper and style, which works really, really nice. As you can see over here, you do have a ton of different types of wallpapers. So say, let's give this one a try. It will take some time to download when you do it for the first time. So let's wait for it to show up. There you go. So select the tick mark, home screen and lock screen. Uh, we don't want Poco Launcher, not at all. It would have gotten installed by, you know, a mistake. And let's go to wallpaper in style and let's enable themed icons beta. There you go. Working like a charm and this wallpaper looks really, really dope as well. So curated culture from Google is like amazing. I would probably like to have these kind of wallpapers on my iPhone as well. I'll do that. 
maybe later anyways themed icons are looking great they are working absolutely fine you do have the google search bar at the bottom along with the assistant shortcuts which are working absolutely fine you do have your standard quick tiles over here which tells you these privacy short icons or notifications that you know which app is using what so that is something really neat and that works great as well you have the edit option for the quick tiles you have the power menu which gives you advanced reboot as well so almost all roms have started getting that now and you have device controls and all the standard tiles available over here now you do have your standard screen recorder which allows you to record internal and external audio the moment you start screen recording you will notice that you get a counter and ah uh, we are looking for lag we are looking for stutter over here let's see i i think the stutter is there but i cannot make out if it is more or less so yeah i think it's smooth i think it's doing a fine job over here and you can see this is sort of a bug this is not exactly the way it is supposed to look this particular gap that you see i think they will fix it really really soon so let's stop the screen recording here and let's have a look at the screen recording real quick Yeah. Now we are looking for lag. We are looking for stutter here. Let's see. I I think the stutter. Yeah. So the inbuilt audio is working absolutely fine. The external audio feels a little muffled. That's completely fine. This is an initial build. If you go to the edit menu, you do have the other options, your privacy icons, which are available in Android 12. Then you have ambient display, you have cafe, and you have extra dim, you have sync, screenshot, heads up. So this is really, really neat to see that, you know, even Android 12 based custom ROMs are now getting all these customization options because with Monet UI and custom ROM customization, these ROMs start becoming very, very exciting to be very honest. Now, if you go to the settings, you do see that it is following the monet theming as well but we will get back to that in a while now you do see over here that it comes with a very very basic camera application as always right so you can install gcam and i've not tried nx camera on android 12 that is something i intend to do very very soon right now let's quickly go to settings over here and let's see what all options are available the first thing that you will notice over here is the evolver and that is your dedicated customization menu for evolution x now it has things like themes status bar notifications quick settings power menu gestures lock screen buttons miscellaneous and then you have a dedication to the team so if you go to themes as you can see use dark theme is disabled you can go ahead and enable it right and if you go to status bar you do have some status bar customization so you can go ahead and enable this yeah, for some reason, this might be broken. I might be wrong though. Yeah, I cannot see the status bar traffic indicators working. So let's see in the expanded status bar. No, no. Oh yeah, I saw that. It's, it's, oh, it just came. I think it's the activity. It's not buggy. Let's see over here. Anyways, I did see it working, so I'm gonna give it a go. And battery style, Volti icon. You can also select the Volti icon, as you can see. MIUI 11, good old days, EMUI. So that is neat, you do have customization and it is actually working. So if you go to notifications, you have very, very basic customization and battery light doesn't really make a lot of difference because it's at the top over here on the K20 Pro. And then you have quick settings as well. As you can see, you can change the animations. You do have the power menu in which you can enable or disable some advanced features. And then you do have the gestures. One of them is the three finger screenshot. As you can see, it works absolutely fine. Now moving on, you have lock screen in which you have the music visualizer and some other customization. You do have button customization over here. You can go ahead and enable the customization of your choice. And then you have miscellaneous in which you have the USB configuration and other things, right? Now, one thing that I saw which is missing over here is the gaming dashboard, which comes with Android 12. A little unfortunate that it is not present, but hey, remember, this is the initial build of Evolution X based on Android 12. And I'm pretty sure sooner or later they will go ahead and add it now when we come to the battery section we are not going to discuss battery life because i've just flashed this one hour back and there is no sense in checking the battery life i think this rom will give you decent battery life so under thermal profiles you do have benchmark and all the other profiles which are available although the 180 hertz mode or the gaming mode feature is not available so i'm pretty sure they can add that later 
And apart from this, even in display, you have your usual stuff like tap to wake, night light and all those things. So nothing new, nothing fancy, nothing, you know, very, very different there. This is Evolution X based on Android 12. It does have the customization. It does have some less smoothness, but I'm pretty sure they will add it later. Let's go ahead and talk about the features that matter to you the most. For example, let's talk about DRM info over here. Widewind is L1, so no problem there. Let's talk about the safety net. Safety net is passing. Let's talk about the Play Store over here. Settings, about, certified so that is neat now let's talk about the benchmark numbers so at least from a content consumption point of view and from a banking applications point of view this rom is fine because it has safety net passing by default and the device is also play store certified now let's go ahead and talk about the cpu throttle test real quick now as you can see average score 187 904 gips cpu throttle to 94 percent of its max performance now remember this is a normal 15 minute 20 thread test that i ran and a very decent score for a first build now let's go to geekbench over here real quick very very decent score once again 722 single core 2496 multi-core unfortunately antutu as always did not run i don't know why it does that but yeah it gets stuck on one particular scene and it doesn't really work so well the battery charging is fine the battery backup is decent this is the first ever evolution x build very very promising rom you can definitely give it a try i really don't know how good the gaming is but looking at the performance numbers if you're not a esports competitive player you should not complain your gaming should just be fine and they should give you more than 45 ps any given time let me know in the comment section if you're excited about evolution x or not until the next one this is kalash signing off at phone ops Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.